Hi everyone and welcome to episode 12 and as we always do every four episodes we do a Mr. Bubble news roundup in terms of what's hot, what's trending, what's going on in the world of digital marketing and, and me giving my views and me getting some notes and sharing it with you guys on the podcast and on video on YouTube. But as always, as I always say, please don't forget to you know, like, follow, subscribe um, across our podcast and stream platforms. Um, subscribe to our YouTube, click on the bell notification and please, please, please leave comments and feedback. We'd love to see what you think, what you view, if you like the podcast, um, the format, um, the more feedback we get from you, the more we can start tailoring the podcast accordingly. So in this one, I had a question that came up to me on LinkedIn and it says, how do you decide between your business social media being personal or business focused? And this came from a lady called Claire. So that's a difficult question. So what we're trying right now is a thing called Mr. Bubble. And, and I could be doing more with that Mr. Bubble thing. And, that, and that's a personal brand thing. I've talked about this on previous uh, podcasts that, you know, Bobble Digital is named after me because my nickname was Bobble. I think we had that discussion with uh, Rashbal a few episodes ago. And the idea really being that actually when I was thinking of Bobble, I wanted to put my personal ethics values into the company in terms of how I wanted things to run, my upbringing, et cetera, in terms of how I think a business should be run, how staff should be treated, how clients should be treated, and how we build relationships. Because businesses buy into businesses as much as they do the services. People buy into people as much as they buy into the services they offer. So we try to create a family or I wouldn't say family oriented, but a personal, warm, friendly brand here at Bubble. Uh, and I feel like we're doing a good job of that. Could we be doing better? Of course, but everybody could be doing better with their brand. Um, but it's all about what you try and what you don't try and what you start to uh, implement. So it's a difficult question to answer that one, Claire, because you can't really decide between personal or business. Your business, social media. If you go onto Bubbles, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, and YouTube and we have Twitter as well. You notice that we always share a lot of company updates, stuff we're doing as teams, blogs. Um, you'll see a lot of stuff about our recent fifth birthday party, a lot of video content out there. See a lot of stuff about bite-sized events. You'll even see us promoting this podcast. But separately from my personal LinkedIn is I try to tie that into Bubble, which is why I call myself Mr. Bubble. And people saying, oh, you're just taking it from Mr. Beast. And I'll be honest with you, that's where the idea came from. But I'm not trying to be a Mr. Beast because I'm not creating a Willy Wonka chocolate factory and putting people through it to own it or, or trade it in for half a million dollars. And I'm not, you know, creating a lot of 25 cars and just giving them away for free, um, et cetera. So he's creating content by doing crazy challenges, entertainment, that's like 20, 25 minutes. And me being Mr. Bubble is just aligned with what is my brand? I am Bubble. You know, I'm, I know I'm wearing a hoodie if you're looking on YouTube, but and I got the nicely positioned placed product placement that is the bottle uh, right here. But I am trying to create a personal brand. And the personal brand is Mr. Bubble because my closest friends call me Bubble. My best friends call me Bubble. That's my nickname. That's what it is. So me being Mr. Bubble essentially is, you know, me being me, my digital marketing version, my marketing brain, my marketing persona of who I am. And I need to create that personal brand across LinkedIn. And it might work, it might not work. Mr. Bubble might become synonymous around the UK or in the world of marketing. It might not. There's no guarantee to it. But what I am doing, Claire, is I'm trying something. And I'm seeing if it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But you can't just give up after like a, a, a couple of months. Now, there's a lot more I need to be doing with Mr. Bubble on my LinkedIn. I need to be saying, right, I'm Mr. Bubble. I could even put like it in brackets with my name, you know, Mr. Bubble or hashtag Mr. Bubble element across my platforms. I could even change my personal profiles from being called Manny uh, underscore bubble to Mr. Bubble if I really wanted to. I could change my TikTok to Mr. Bubble kind of stuff and start sharing some stuff. Or I could create new accounts around that that's really focused around content and call it Mr. Bubble and see what works. The idea being that you've got to try something, you've got to create a personal brand on something and 
you, I'm just, again, I'm just, the transparent and honest thing is I'm just trying something. Does it work? Does it not work? I don't know. Um, but there is a strategy behind it. And the uh, strategy behind it is that when you go look at the videos of the podcast, it comes up with Mr. Bubble. I mention it in my podcast. I mention it on my LinkedIn. I'm putting questions out on my LinkedIn and getting people to respond. All right, Mr. Bubble's going to be talking about this. We call the episodes Mr. Bubble News Roundup. People might watch it, might not. You know, what does it mean? What I do see is that the the titles and podcasts that have actual particular topic focus get higher views than what we do. So does that stop me from calling a Mr. Bubble News Roundup? No, I'm going to persist with it because the idea is that I am Mr. Bubble. I am, you know, the marketing expert with my experience that I want to share my knowledge and expertise in it. Because if you looked at our last episode about cryptos and NFTs and marketing, I went to a lot of detail, but it rolled off the tongue because I've gone out there and I've done the learning. And the reason you're on here now is because you want to know what is I have to say because you don't want to go out there and read all the articles and the blogs and video content that I've gone out and watched and learned about to be able to give you my opinion and my thoughts on it. So I'd say you've got to do both. To quickly summarize, you've got to do both. You've got to focus on your business, but if you're a leader or a significant you know, a member within that company and you're the owner, then and you gotta focus on it. If all you care about is your personal brand and not your company brand and you're a freelancer, then yes, you should focus more on your personal brand. People buy into people, as I said, but people also buy into businesses. So we have to have we we're having to wear a couple of hats. We're trying to, you know, do a blend of the two. The company focuses on Bobble Digital as a company. I focus on me being Mr. Bobble. And the name transpires and everyone knows that Mr. Bobble is from Bobble Digital. They go hand in hand, etc. That's how it is. So thanks for the question. I thought it was a really good question. It's the main question that I had today I want to talk about. The other things I wanted to talk about is what's hot for 2022. Right now, this is a news roundup. So what advertising trends are hot right now? Um... And this kind of links from the previous one, Metaverse. Some consumers saying they're ready. Some are scared. Scared? People are scared in the Metaverse. I get scared when I turn the light off downstairs and have to run upstairs because I think something's going to grab me. Um, I'm sorry, I've just seen the TikToks on that. They're hilarious. But we kind of relate to those kind of contents on a personal level because we used to do that. So what we found that, Gaming is a big market for brands and agencies to really tackle. 82% of global consumers are gamers. 82% of global consumers are gamers. Wow. The average age of a gamer, I guess. Does someone want to guess? I'm going to bring you in. Is it about 28? Okay. Callum's going 28. Josh, I'm going to say 26. 35. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean... I'm 33 and I don't look a day older than 21 if you see me on YouTube, but that's just very, very good editing for my editing team. Um, the average daily time spent on games consoles, how much, how long do you think it is? I've got to say about, now I'm, I'm basing this on my average. Just, what do you think? I think it's about four and a half, five hours. A day? A day. You're spending four and a half hours a day on gaming, Callum. Not every day. When do you get time to do your editing and and elements? Wow. So, yeah. So, if you're waiting for projects on Callum, it's because you're spending four and a half hours gaming. Not every day, (laughs) but like on on an average. On an average. That's a lot. It's good. I, I, I... I like to get involved in my gaming. So when I when I've got a bit of free time, J- like- Josh is Josh is putting up the two fingers. I'm not gonna say which which direction he was putting them up, but he's saying two hours. It's actually one hour and eleven minutes. Oh wow! Um, and 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 that data comes from um um GWI. So many people know where GWI. Is, so this comes from my GWI. Um, flip side, fifty percent of consumers are not all interested in participating in the metaverse. Which kind of makes sense because if you're the older generation and you're probably out of touch with technology right now, you're probably thinking, I don't want to get involved in that. I'm too old. Um, what do people want to do with it? They want to watch TV films. 44% don't want to play games. 51% don't want to watch TV films. 43% say they want to browse products. Um, 41% don't want to watch live events like concerts. It's, it's, it's a minefield. And I've talked about this. Facebook is meta. He's not going to, he's going to double down on it regardless of what's going on with crypto market. You know, 
that's not going to impact Facebook too much. But, you know, they focus more on what you can do with what NFTs allow you to do in the metaverse. And he's going to move forward with it. So it's interesting to see that actually, you know, people are, some people are ready, but some people are scared. Um, I just think it's very, very interesting. I think here's here's something from Zeitgeist date in March 20, 2022. I had this written down. That data shows that 33% of people are very extremely interested in participating in the metaverse. I am. I can't wait for it to be really established and get involved with it. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how it goes. The next thing is audio ads are on the rise. Audio ads. We're trying to introduce that to our uh, clients. I'm like, like big time audio ads um louder for the people in the back audio ads are on the rise um from q1 2021 to q1 2022 it's the fastest growing sources of brand discovery were ads on podcasts which is up by 14 percent ads seen at the cinema up 12 percent ads on music streaming services up 11 percent ads heard on the radio up nine percent but all but one of those audios which says a lot about media channels growth strength is, you know, what we're doing right now, which is podcasting. Um, there's a lot of hype around podcasting right now. Listening to podcasting has increased by 30% since last year amongst Generation Alpha. I've written that down, but I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know what Generation Alpha is. I know Millennials, Gen Z, Gen Y. That's a really good point. I don't actually know to said generation alpha but i'm thinking what is generation alpha now you know what we'll do some research onto that and we'll, we'll put it in the next roundup uh i'll make a note of that one what is generation alpha so we'll while interest in podcasts increased by 10 percent. so podcasts on the rise we've been doing podcasts this is season three that we're on i'm saying season three but essentially it's just going to be weekly episodes now moving forward of me building the brand my personal brand going back to the original question you know and everything like that but audience on the rise because if you're on the free version of uh, spotify you have to listen to ads you've got the dax which is digital audio exchange which allows you to buy audio ads like you buy display ads so very very cheaply and very very effectively so yeah it's it's on the rise and it's something you should be considering as part of it because this is content about marketing so if you're offering marketing services or anything like that you want to align yourself to podcasts that talk about marketing digital marketing seo and different topics again like with anything interest or topic based targeting you can do um so but if you're a e-commerce retailer and you're listening to like you know joe rogan then that's something you want to be aligned yourself because a lot of people listen to that you know it depends on the content where you can place that product or service that you offer as a business when it comes to um, audio, but a lot more to come from that. And I think that's a good topic for us to discuss. I think audio ads uh, as an episode moving forward. I like doing these roundups because I give what's hot and what's new. And essentially what it does is give me ideas for future podcasts in terms of what to talk about. And we end up talking about in details or we talk about certain things and we bring guests on. So it's looking good. Um, in-game advertising is a fortress uh, and there's a way in. So the world of gaming is a goldmine for brands uh, around the world. Console gamers are 22% more likely to buy brands than they've seen advertised compared to the average consumer. That's crazy right now, isn't it? 22% more likely to buy products that they see in game so the four and a half hours Callum you're spending on gaming you're 22 percent more likely to buy something as all that I would suggest highly cutting down on your gaming time um <laughs> to save your pockets from spending on stuff that you don't really really need um when you're gaming you're already into a high quality environment so when you see particular ads games like Grand Theft Auto or games like um Fortnite Call of Duty, they will bring in other brands and elements into it. Well, like with Football Manager, so this is where I spend my four and a half hours of, of gaming sometimes, is Football Manager. Yeah. I can spend hours playing that game. And what you can see in the stadium of the, of, of the team that you're managing 